Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use an external text editor to edit your Python code for Python in Excel. And so this is what we're going to do. So when you hit uh, save here on, on, on your external editor, which could be VS Code or PyCharm or any of the other editors you love, then the code will automatically be synchronized over into the text cell. Um, to put this into context first, before we get into more details, um, this was only thought to be, you know, uh, a response to a joke here on Twitter. So somebody asked me, uh, what day do you use Excel wings to modify the Pi cells within Excel? So since this was um, easy enough to build in, um, you know, I just did it. But the truth is that it's actually super helpful while Microsoft isn't providing a proper editor for the Python and Excel cells yet. So as you can see, uh, you the only way you can edit those cells is going into the formula editor. And you don't have syntax highlighting, you don't have um, auto formatting, you don't have a linter, which you know gives you the squiggly lines if something is, 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 is off or gives you an error feedback. So it doesn't, you know, give you any of the uh, features that you're used to. And I mean, me, I'm used to like all this, the keyboard shortcuts and Visual Studio codes. I'm like super, super inefficient if I have to use the formula editor here, the formula bar to edit the Python code. And so, for example, I can just go over here and do um, Alt uh, arrow up and then move that up in, uh, you know, in, in those rows to move the line up or I could uh, click on, on, on um, Shift Alt F here on Windows to apply an auto formatting. And then when I hit the Enter key, then also, sorry, when I hit the Control S key also applied over here. You can see like every time I hit Control S, it also runs the cell. So it's just a, a you know, a ton, a ton less awkward than if you have to do the uh, copy and paste all the time. So anyhow, so how do we get this set up? It's, it's very simple. What you have to do is you go to the Excel Wings GitHub page um, that's over here. Then you go to the releases. Uh, you will download the Excel Wings XE. If you are a Python, a local Python user, you could have said also just do pip install Excel Wings. But let's just assume you don't have um, a, a local Python installation. Then you can just download that exe file here, which is a limited command line client from Excel Wings. Now I've already done that. You can throw it anywhere you like. You could put it under program, programs and files. That way you can refer to it as just Excel Wings on the command prompt. But um, you can really leave it anywhere uh, you like. And so I'm just going to show you from the beginning. Um, going to delete that. So what I'm going to do is basically you're going to fire up a, a command prompt over here and then you just drag and drop the downloaded XE here. Actually, before we get there, let me switch into my desktop and then my test folder and then we'll just drag and drop this over here and say um, pi edit hit enter and also before you do that actually make sure that the cell that you want to you know edit is the selected cell in your active excel workbook and so what that does is as you can see here it you know exports the text into the python file you open it as i said in your favorite text editor and that's pretty much where uh, I showed you how everything works before. So uh, if you don't like that with two, ta with two new lines here, uh, hit enter and uh, delete the enter, hit control S for saving and you will have it applied over there. And yeah, I mean, that's just how you can basically, you know, um, develop over here in in, in your external editor while having an automatic um, execution of your code in the Excel cell. And that's pretty much all there is to. So as I said, it runs in every, um, in every editor. You just need to fire up 
um, that command over here. Once you're done, uh, you hit Control C and um, it will stop. And yeah, obviously it's a good way to not only like leverage your external editor, but also to have an external file that you could now track with Git or any other uh, version control system that you may have. All right, that, that's all for today. Uh, see you in the next video.